they did an update for their memories function. And now the memories functions in photos for the, and this is iPhone, iPad, iPod touch. So any iOS device that's been there before, but they made some pretty nice updates this year. So um, not only do you have a, a little bit tweaked interface, um, you actually got a little bit of a cards interface when you actually get into it. Mm. Um, but if you subscribe to Apple music, which I don't, but if you do, you can pull music in from Apple Music. And you can select different filters. So you not only have your memory, you can you can see the different filters. You can just and that, but the only thing is that's on all of the photos or all the videos you bring into the memory. So you can't say, I want black and white on this one, I want this on this one. It's all going across. But the nice thing is now. The th oh, their thing is, and let me see if I can show it here. Okay, there we go. So if I just click on the for you down below, it brings up memories. And if I hit the see all, there we go. I can just scroll. Now, this first one is one I put together. Mm -hmm. But let me, there we go. A lot of these are like automatically done. On, oh, oh, hold on. Also trying to do something backwards <laughs> is a pain. Okay, I'll this, do this, this is where way. you need an ATEM Mini so you can plug that directly into the ATEM and show us what's going on. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me go here again. Hold on. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to see all. There we go. Okay. Okay, this way you can just kind of scroll through. Mm -hmm. And you have the different options here. And it automatically picks these photos. So all this is just, you know, like here's a location one when – this is years ago. We went to yeah. visit a family relative down in um, Denton. We stopped by Annapolis. And, you know, like different shows at the PPG uh, Paint Arena. And it put in like, it'll say like, oh, here's Christmases. And there's one now, admittedly, some of the titles are not the, let's see if I can. Hold. Yeah, it's kind of making it up. Like uh, that's his Christmas Eve, you know, kind of presumptively. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, well, I, that one was Christmas Eve. That was that was looking at the date, but where it so, says here, so just remember when. I'm trying to see the, like how this looks like on the new format. Now, now, now yeah. I'm usually ending up in 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 oh. memories from. Uh, well, I guess I, I guess I'm pretty much I'm pretty much there. Um, yeah. Uh, so so usually from like that 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 widget that pops up. Mm -hmm. So like I get one that says Thornville. It says t July 2018 trip. Uh, this is definitely the gathering of the juggalos. Okay. And there's a little <laughs> bit of, there's a little footage and stuff there. Mm -hmm. or Orlando. Not, Orlando. Not wrong, hey, sure. Orlando and Lakeland. There's our uh, friend of the wrestling mayhem show. DJ Z walking wild before he uh, went all uh, uh, joined that group. Uh, let's see. <laughs> there's a, uh, people, this one's called dinner in Pittsburgh, but it's actually a game night we had at the studio. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, we get those kinds of things. But yeah, I mean, if you see me just randomly posting old pictures on Twitter, it's because this thing caught my attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, and the nice thing is, let's say you click on one of those. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me just do the this. Remember when? Which I just happen to remember. It's it's the last great race I did in person. Mm -hmm. So it's doing things from the race mm -hmm. and different pictures I took during it. But if I just push it up a little bit here. Oh, let me, if I click on it, I'm sorry. If I click on it, you see you got different options down below now. Yeah, yeah. And so, with those different options, you can, if I click on the music part, you can see it actually gives you a live preview of the different filters. Mm -hmm. That you can just slide and see the different filters that come across as the things are playing. And it gives you the music down below. So this is this is akin to uh, uh, Google Photos would generate these movies mm -hmm. as you exactly. upload them. Like, and exactly. then you could go in and say, "Oh, this is great," but you put in this photo I don't like, right? And right. then you, and you can adjust things on, on the fly. Yeah. But, and and then, like I said, you have the different music yeah, options yeah. here, That's nice. where it has top selections, the soundtracks, and Apple Music. Like I said, I'm not subscribed, but you can test it, and it gives mm -hmm. you all these different options automatically that you can try. That's nice. And That's then. Nice. You just simply, once you're done, you can, you know, select different filters, export it as just a regular movie and do it. And you can put a slideshow together. You know, I, I while you're on that, you know, talking about the photos app, I'm really impressed with, um, I get a lot of the metadata data is more upfront. I've yes. noticed. 
uh, in, in this. I, I don't know if this is across the board with iOS 15 no. or because it's the new iPhone. Um, new iPhone. Because I, I, I can tell I, you it's a new iPhone. Okay. Because is it? I don't have it on mine. Oh, okay. And which one do you have again? I have the 10. Still. The 10. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, I'm used to. Then this threw me off at first because if you pull up a photo, it's featuring one of my photos from the seldom seen. Kind well, of I should walk. say this. No, that, yeah, I should say it does have okay, like where where it was saved from, the phone it was taken, mm -hmm. the megapixel, the ISO that like, that comes like, up. Like that stuff is in. If you go to the photos app, it'll yeah. pull up on all your photos. But uh, this is the first time I've noticed it in the phone. So if you mm -hmm. pull it up, I'm used to you pull it up and you will um you know get the the you know the live options. But then I'm like, oh, what is all this? There's the metadata. There's the, the info for the photo. There's the uh, GPS mm -hmm. for it and everything. Like, that's really nice. And and I do like, you know, when you're able to go into photos and I'll have to see, like it says wide camera, 26 millimeter, uh, F-stop, 1.5, 3.5, 12 megapixel as a resolution and all that kind of stuff. What is the format? You know, it, it's got like uh, the ISO, the, you know, it, it, it's got a lot of, I'm going to say, because I say this in all love, photo geek info. Uh, so that like, mm -hmm. I don't understand half of this stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is probably right up your alley, Dave. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it, it's 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 really nice. So it's it's amazing how fleshed out this is. Uh, so Aperture, that's a thing I was trying to remember the other day. We're trying to think about photo apps. Is oh, that, okay. Is Aperture still a thing? <sighs> Because we have we have a we have a, a photo project that mm. we did recently, and we're trying to figure out how we are going to manage like high end photos. Ooh, so yeah, I, so I, like what is that answer? Do we get Lightroom or? It may be Lightroom, to be honest. Yeah. Too bad the per uh, too, I, uh, too bad the person that who's asking this question isn't here tonight. So I hope that, <laughs> I hope she listens back to the podcast. So. Oh, well, and one other thing with photos, mm -hmm. and this is only on the new ones because all this, a lot of this processing done on camera and I can't, but I took a picture and we get this here because I, I did a screenshot of what this looks like mm -hmm. on Ruth's phone mm -hmm. uh, because of course she has the third, she has the non-pro, but she has the 13. Mm -hmm. So I took a photo of our bush out front or bush out back on me. That's a nice bush, Dave. Oh, thank you. And... The thing is, if you push up on it, mm -hmm. let it adjust here. It says plant. Mm -hmm. And oh, then it's like, oh, Siri that's knowledge. An Asian knotweed. Whoa. Holy crap. It wow. pulls up a series knowledge thing on the plant that you took a picture of. <laughs> yeah. As long as you have that little. <laughs> Via Snapseed. Well, no. Yeah. Oh, that, oh well, that's what you took the picture with. Seed. Okay. That I added it in Snapseed. But if you, look at the, if you look at the eye Jeez. that's on there, but if you have the little. Yeah, a little sparkle on the eye. You can put more information up, like, huh. "Oh, here's a location, and here's the map." Or, "Oh, this is a dog, and here's the breed, and here's information on the breed." So, so I just, I just, um, kind of partially similar. I so that picture that I was shown before, which is Missy, and, and we're under the train truss and everything mm -hmm. at Seldom Seen. So it has an option for the landmark. And while I don't think there was there's enough there for it to pick up on much, it does pull up. Let me see if I can show. You see you see the map location, and then you see similar photos. Now they're they're not something from the same thing, but but still like there there are other kind of train bridges and trusses, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that that's very very interesting. So that's that's cool. That's really cool. Wow, yeah. that's a now lot I, of stuff. I know there. Google has built into their app similar with google lens mm -hmm. but because it can be done only on the new phones and not on the old phones right that means that's telling me that that's at least apple's doing it all on on the vice mm -hmm. which is nice mm -hmm. which is nice 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 that's cool that's really cool and here i just a photo just i i pulled up um actually it's from my iphone 8 plus but you still get all the same information and mm -hmm. tells you it was the telephoto camera um, and has all the ISO and f-stop information like it had before. And it was a darker room, so it makes sense. So well, that's really cool. Really, really cool.